morning guys. I think it's day four. We're trying to figure out. I think it's day four of our North Korea trip. And um, from here on out, it's gonna get a little bit more interesting. I mean, it's, it's been pretty interesting already, but we're now venturing beyond where the normal kind of tourism groups go. Today, we're visiting a school. We're gonna be having some fun activities with them. Um, it's raining again, unfortunately, so I think the skateboarding that was planned can't happen. We're gonna but skate, Louis. We're gonna. Oh, gonna bro, look, gonna this isn't skate weather. We're gonna skimboard then. Okay, but we've got guitars, we've got some dancing. It's gonna be fun. Maybe Lane's gonna do some music. You gonna do some music? Hope so. And late, later on, we're gonna um, work on this track that Lane's been Woo! doing. We're gonna record some clips for our music video we're making out here. Lance for Louis Cole and Miss Kim. And yeah, we're gonna get- Surfing in the DPRK. We're gonna get Miss Kim, who's one of the guides, and she's gonna sing a little- uh, A little chorus, A little actually. chorus on the song. This is gonna Woo! be good. This school has especially talented students and they've just shown us that over the years five of their students have won the International Maths Olympics. Check this out. Three years ago this kid came number one, first in the world. Yes bro, and he's the happiest kid here as well, look, look at that smile. We're sneaking into the back of her class. So I think that was quite a rare opportunity we had to interact with the kids in there a little bit. Unfortunately we couldn't do the music performance and the dancing, I think they had to crack them with their studying but we had a little Q&A time. Um, I don't know if you can really hear it's quite loud in there but um, yeah it was amazing hearing some of the kids ask questions like what was your dream and uh, just yeah just really interested about the travel time to get here and about our families and stuff so yeah that was cool, that was special, that was very special. So when we landed a couple of days ago, I was chatting to a guy who said there is a way to get internet out here. He said you can buy SIM cards with data and then if you have a VPN like I was using in China, you can actually get full internet access, but it's just very slow. So I asked about getting a SIM card and it's taken a few days for our pass passports to get back from the government because they had to send them off. And we've just dropped in and um, We've been told for $40 you can get a SIM card that allows a three minute call to the US uh, and for $200 I can get a SIM card with 50 megabytes of data um, which probably isn't worth it so I'm just going to hang on the extra week or so until we can get internet again. Crazy. We are now going into the Pyongyang metro. This was built in the 70s I think and it's, uh, yeah, this is going to be cool. This might be one of the longest escalators I've ever seen. Yes, look how retro these train cars are. These are retro. This is yeah, right? straight retro. 50s, Guys, 
We've just walked into a souvenir shop and we found these instruments that the girl was playing on the first night here. It's called a Gaia Goon. I'm going to give it a little go. Check this out. Like that wobble. <laughs> the wobble. We just recorded a little sample for the song. Did we get it, Lane? Dude, Louis just played the Gaia Goo and smashed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bye. Another fun lunch performance. So we've stopped to buy a local supermarket to get some dessert and maybe some snacks and presents for some of the kids we're going to see this week. But you can't use Chinese or American currency here like we have been other places. We're going to have to exchange it for the local North Korean currency, which we're not actually allowed to be using, but we can use whilst we're in here. And uh, then we have to exchange it back again by the time we leave the store. This is what North Korean currency looks like. Got a big wad here. This is worth, I don't know, maybe like $30. We've thrown our shopping in the bus. And now we're going to skate down to another skate park down here somewhere. Hopefully our friend comes with us. Yeah, we've, follow we, me the shop we, did, we did have some people following us. I don't know where they are. They're over here somewhere. we're going to see some very, very talented kids. guitar club and they're not messing around. Especially that little boy, the guitar was like twice the size of him, but 
killing it, absolutely killing it. We're heading into a performance on the stage. Oh, I think we're a little bit late. I think, I think it's already started. from our group is donating the school a ukulele. So you're gonna give it to this young lady right here? Whoa, she is stocked up for life. <laughs> stocked up. She stole she had us. <laughs> like she's gonna have no teeth left. Literally zero teeth left. <laughs> well guys, that was mind blowing. Those kids have such insane talent and um, yeah, I just can't even begin to fathom how much they need to rehearse to, to that kind of level of perfection. It's like what I was saying the other day, I think the whole culture has this perfectionist mentality um, and one of the great things about that is it's quite common for people to perfect a skill like that and I, I think the culture I've grown up in, there's not a lot of people that um, perfect skills like that and uh, I kind of wish I had that discipline as a kid to, to learn that stuff. Before dinner we've come down to the new scientist street. They built this in less than a year. All of these skyscrapers, check these out. That is, that is kind of hard to uh, believe but it's true. That is true. So we've just been asking some questions about the systems here and how it works. Learning some pretty cool things. Basically, in North Korea, um, the wage isn't set by, I guess, the academic ability of a job, but by how hard the job is. So he was saying the people that the, uh, sweep the streets actually get paid more than the teachers. He didn't go into exact salaries and stuff, but um, he said the housing, food, healthcare, and education is all provided and in the holidays they even provide the population with clothing and shoes and stuff. Um, so it's yeah it's just really fascinating learning about the culture here and how the how the system works. Stevie over here the guitar man is leaving tomorrow. We have some special in Stevie's honor. All right, but Stevie, just want to say thank you for coming. Hope you guys go hard and go big. Come on back and trust that you're here for the best possible time, best possible season that there ever could be in history. To you surfing, to see amazing things happen. Well, we're back at the hotel. There's been a lot to take in. I've tried to capture it as best as I can to show you guys. It's gonna take me a few more days to process a lot of the, the culture here. It's a bit of a culture shock, basically, because there's quite a, you know, it's quite disconnected from the rest of the world. I think there's some ways that it's advanced in its kind of own, in North Korea's own style, which I think is fascinating. Um, so yeah, lots to think about. And uh, and tomorrow, like I was saying this morning, tomorrow we're actually leaving uh, Pyongyang and seeing another part of the country, which is gonna be very different. We're almost halfway through our trip, uh, but I cannot wait to hit the coast. Ho hopefully we'll get some surf and I'll be able to learn to surf a bit better and meet some more locals. And uh, yeah, just continue exploring this amazing country. I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom.